What if your DNA held the key to a story tens of thousands of years in the making? A story of survival, migration, and connection that spans continents and centuries. For millions of Filipinos, this isn't just a thought experiment, it's a scientific reality. The Philippines, with its more than 7,000 islands, is celebrated for its cultural richness, its languages, and its traditions. But beneath this incredible diversity lies an even deeper mystery. Where did the Filipino people come from? For centuries, historians, anthropologists, and archaeologists tried to answer this question through artifacts, oral histories, and ancient records. But now, a new frontier is illuminating this ancient puzzle, genetics. Modern DNA research is rewriting what we know about Filipino origins, revealing a story that is far more intricate and surprising than anyone could have imagined. By studying ancient DNA and modern genetic markers, scientists are uncovering a map of migrations, cultural exchanges, and historical encounters that stretch across thousands of years. Each strand of Filipino DNA tells a story of the first humans who set foot on these islands, of skilled seafarers who crossed vast oceans, and of traders and colonizers whose arrival reshaped not just communities, but the very genetic fabric of the population. In this video, we will journey through this astonishing story, from the first settlers in the archipelago to the waves of migration that built the Filipino identity. We will explore the blending of ancestries that created a unique genetic tapestry, one that reflects both the resilience and the adaptability of the Filipino people. Buckle up, because this is the untold story of the Philippines, written not in books, but in blood. The story of the Filipino people begins tens of thousands of years ago, long before the rise of kingdoms, before written history, and even before the first traders reached the archipelago. Genetic evidence shows that the earliest humans arrived in the Philippines around 50,000 years ago. These were the first wave of migrations out of Africa, traveling across land bridges, coastal routes, and treacherous waters to reach Southeast Asia. These original inhabitants, known today as the Negritos, were small-statured hunter-gatherers, perfectly adapted to life in the dense tropical forests of the islands. They survived through ingenuity, knowledge of the land, and close-knit communities. For tens of thousands of years, their descendants roamed the islands, leaving traces of their existence not just in archaeological sites, but deep within the DNA of modern indigenous groups such as the Eta, Ati, and Batak. What makes this discovery remarkable is how much of their genetic legacy still exists today. Even as new waves of settlers arrived, the Negritos' DNA endured. In some regions, their genetic markers remain among the oldest human lineages in Southeast Asia, a living testament to the endurance of the archipelago's first people. But the Negritos were not alone in shaping the Filipino genetic landscape. Around 4,000 years ago, a second major migration began, a wave that would profoundly alter the islands and lay the foundation for what we now recognize as Filipino identity. This wave was led by the Austronesians, skilled seafarers who originated from what is now Taiwan. With advanced knowledge of farming, pottery, and boat building, they navigated the vast waters of the Pacific and Indian Oceans, settling in islands across Southeast Asia, including the Philippines. Genetic studies reveal that the majority of modern Filipinos descend primarily from Austronesian ancestry, yet this did not erase the Negritos. Instead, the two groups intermarried over generations, blending their genes and creating a uniquely Filipino genetic tapestry. This fusion explains the diversity of physical features across the islands. A person from Luzon might have darker skin and tightly curled hair, reflecting stronger Negrito ancestry, while someone from the Visayas or Mindanao might display more Austronesian traits. Yet, despite these differences, all Filipinos share a deep genetic connection a hidden thread that traces back tens of thousands of years. The meeting of the Negritos and Austronesians was just the beginning. The Philippines' genetic story would continue to evolve with each passing wave of migration, trade, and colonization, each leaving a distinct mark on the people of the archipelago. 
After the Austronesians settled in the islands, the Philippines became a crossroads of human movement, connecting the archipelago to the wider networks of Southeast Asia. Over centuries, new groups arrived from what is now Vietnam, Thailand, and Malaysia, bringing with them not just goods and ideas, but also their genes. These migrations enriched the Filipino gene pool, particularly in Luzon and the Visayas, where genetic diversity is especially high. Trade played a crucial role in shaping these connections. Long before European colonizers arrived, the islands were linked to complex maritime networks. Merchants and seafarers from China traveled to the Philippines, establishing trade relationships that would eventually lead to settlements. Over generations, these settlers married into local communities, adding another layer to the genetic landscape. Today, many urban Filipinos carry significant Chinese ancestry, a silent record of centuries of exchange and integration. But the genetic story doesn't stop at East and Southeast Asia. DNA evidence also reveals connections to South Asia, the Middle East, and even distant Pacific populations. Indian traders and settlers traveled through the archipelago, contributing not just their genes, but also their knowledge of governance, spirituality, and culture. In regions such as Mindanao, traces of this Southeast Asian ancestry persist, reflecting the long-standing influence of early Indianized kingdoms like Bhutan and Tondo. Through these waves of migration and trade, the Filipino genetic identity became increasingly complex. The islands were not far from isolated, they were a melting pot, a hub where human movement converged. Each new arrival blended with the existing populations, leaving behind a rich tapestry of genes that would shape the Filipino people for generations to come. What makes this story truly fascinating is the seamless blending of ancestries. Instead of one population displacing another, each group contributed to a dynamic genetic mix. The Philippines was not simply a destination for migrants, it was a living laboratory of human interaction where adaptation, survival, and cultural exchange went hand in hand. The genetic story of the Philippines took a dramatic turn in the 16th century with the arrival of Spanish colonizers. In 1521, when Ferdinand Magellan reached the islands, the Philippines became a central part of Spain's global empire for over 300 years. While the Spanish brought religion, governance, and new cultural practices, they also left an undeniable genetic mark that continues to echo through modern Filipino populations. Genetic studies reveal that many Filipinos carry European DNA, primarily Iberian, but the influence is far more layered than simple ancestry. Spain itself was a genetic melting pot of Moors, Celts, and Romans, meaning that even this relatively small European contribution brought a complex array of markers into the Filipino genome. Intermarriage between Spanish settlers, soldiers, and local women created a fusion of European and indigenous traits, especially concentrated in Luzon and urban centers such as Manila. The Spanish didn't just bring European genes, they also connected the Philippines to the broader world through trade. Manila became a hub in the Manila-Acapuco galleon trade, linking Asia to Latin America. Ships didn't only carry silver, spices, and silk, they carried people. Mexican soldiers, sailors, and settlers mixed with local populations, leaving behind traces of indigenous Latin American ancestry in some Filipino communities. This global connection is still detectable today, a hidden layer of history written into DNA. Colonization also influenced genetic diversity indirectly. The Spanish imposed social structures, reorganized communities, and created systems of marriage and family law. These policies shaped patterns of intermarriage and created new pathways for genetic mixing, adding further complexity to the Filipino genetic landscape. Yet despite centuries of colonization, the core identity of the Filipino people remained resilient. Indigenous roots, Austronesian heritage, and Negrito ancestry persisted, blending with foreign genes rather than being replaced. The result is a population that reflects both its local history and centuries of global interaction, a living record of adaptation, survival, and resilience. Even before and during Spanish colonization, 
the Philippines remained deeply connected to the wider world, and these connections continued to shape the genetic makeup of its people. For over a thousand years, the archipelago had been a hub of maritime trade, attracting seafarers, merchants, and settlers from China, South Asia, and the Middle East. Each wave of contact added new threads to the Filipino genetic tapestry. Chinese influence was particularly profound. Traders from southern China traveled to the islands for commerce, and over time, many settled permanently, marrying into local communities. Today, a significant portion of Filipinos, especially in urban centers like Manila and Cebu, carry southern Chinese ancestry. This genetic legacy is reflected not just in DNA, but in the cultural life of the islands, from cuisine and architecture to language, family names, and even local traditions. South Asian influence also left a lasting mark. Indian merchants and seafarers traveled through Southeast Asia as early as the 9th century, introducing ideas, technologies, and trade practices. Genetic studies revealed traces of Indian ancestry in some Filipino populations, particularly in southern regions like Mindanao. Historical records corroborate these findings, documenting Indianized kingdoms such as Bhutan and Cebu that existed long before European contact. These interactions shaped aspects of spirituality, governance, and social organization, leaving behind both cultural and genetic legacies. Middle Eastern connections, though less pronounced, also contributed to Filipino genetics. Traders and early Muslim missionaries traveling from the Arabian Peninsula and Persia introduced both genes and Islam to southern parts of the archipelago. These movements explain why certain regions, particularly in Mindanao, showed distinct genetic markers tied to West Asian populations. What emerges from this pattern is a portrait of openness and exchange. Far from being isolated, the Philippines was a dynamic center of interaction where people from across continents blended, adapted, and thrived. Each wave of migration and trade enriched the local gene pool, creating a population that is remarkably diverse. This blending was not superficial. Over centuries, these external influences were absorbed, reinterpreted, and integrated into the daily lives, customs, and identities of the Filipino people. The result is a genetic and cultural resilience, a population that could incorporate foreign elements while preserving its core Austronesian core. Over thousands of years, the Philippines has been shaped by countless migrations, trade networks, and cultural exchanges, each leaving an imprint on the people and their DNA. From the Negritos, the first humans to walk these islands, to the Austronesians who brought advanced seafaring and farming skills, to traders and settlers from China, South Asia, the Middle East, and Europe, the Filipino genetic story is one of constant movement, blending, and adaptation. This incredible diversity is what makes the Filipino identity so unique. Despite centuries of foreign influence and colonization, Filipinos preserved their core traditions, languages, and sense of belonging. Today, the DNA of the Filipino people serves as a living record of this history, a map of human resilience, curiosity, and connection. Each individual carries within them traces of ancient migrations, distant lands, and generations of ancestors that shaped the archipelago into the vibrant nation it is today. Modern science continues to uncover new layers of this story. Advances in genetic research are revealing connections that were previously hidden, helping Filipinos rediscover forgotten roots and trace links across the globe. And with each discovery, a deeper appreciation emerges, not just for ancestry, but for the shared human journey that connects us all. The story of Filipino genetics reminds us that identity is not fixed, it is alive, dynamic, and evolving. It shows us that diversity is a strength and that the past, encoded in our DNA, can empower us to understand who we are and where we come from. If this journey through the genetic history of the Philippines fascinated you, hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video. Explore your own roots, discover the hidden stories in your DNA, and join us as we uncover the incredible tapestry that connects all of humanity. The world we know is only a shadow of the one that came before.
hit subscribe and step beyond the veil of time.